Silence everywhere. 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 Silence so their feet. Reach out to them. For behold, do a new thing. Cause us to see the new thing. Open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our heart to perceive the new dimension taking us to. Power of the Holy Ghost. Le bracatosa talibraya. Le bracatosa kata. My le bracata le bracatosa. Where you are, right where you are. La bracatosa kata. Let the hand of God reach out to you. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let it cause you to see the new thing. There's a battle happening in your life. Oh, what is going on already? Oh, God, open your eyes to see this new thing. Open your ears to hear this new thing. Open your heart to pass. See this thing you are doing now. Le bracato sakata. Take out of various kinds of new dimensions. Le bracato sakaya. Lord, have your way tonight. Le bracato sakaya. Those who are sick, heal them. Those who are going through short flight, deliver them. Those who are bedroom, they raise them up. Those who are wheelchair, jack them up. Those who are dead, greet them back to life. My le bracato sakata. Le malagado sakata. Let the blind see, cripple walk. The fear must speak. That vice can some miracles happen here, Lord. Have your way tonight, oh God. That the glory, the knowledge of the glory, love of your glory. Father, be made part of it. Make see it. Let men see your glory. See your manifestation. La Braca Tosavaya. As waters come to see, draw your way around and disgrace the devil. Have your way tonight. So, Madame Shakataya. Thank you, Lord. Take your place, and have your way. Your way. I'm, I'm just a vessel, and not more. When you're done, please take your glory.
By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fear the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. <laughs> our topic talks about a new dimension. Uh, and our text talks about forgetting about the past, the former things. Moses in this situation has experienced all manner of glory he can. As a boy brought him into a glorious place. If he was to be the next pharaoh, all glamour, everything you can think of, Moses was already in it and about to take over the full charge. But all this achievement the Bible say he forsook them. All these glories, he forsook them. Because he saw the future. He saw someone who is invincible. <laughs> Friends, your future, what you see, is able to make you forsake the former one. Because the glory that's about to come, the picture God is showing you in the future, is much more glorious. Am I communicating? So the picture of God showed him the invisible. That was Christ he saw. In the Old Testament, he saw him. He was even weighing and said, the glory I'm seeing now and the reproach of Christ, which one do I pick? Look at that man. He forsook the pleasure of Egypt. He said, well, I've enjoyed glories, but the picture I'm seeing in front is greater than what I'm seeing now. He depicts the future. Friends, I declare that the picture God is showing you about your future is greater than what you have seen in the past. What you have seen now it's not compared to what's about to come. And I decree, you will not miss it. You will not miss your future. The picture God is painting for you, what God is showing you is your future. You will not miss your future. You will miss your future. You are going to forget the former things because God is doing a new thing in your front. You are seeing the invisible. That which is unseen is greater than that which you have seen already. And to let you know what you are seeing now, what you have seen before, is nothing compared to what God is about to do. I see God doing something mighty, something glorious, something much, much powerful than what you have encountered in the past. I don't care what you have encountered. The glory you have seen, your future is greater. Your future is greater. Your future is greater. Your future is greater. Future is greater. I say your future is greater. In the name of Jesus, let nobody fool you. The picture you are seeing is greater than that painting. Devil is painting for you of your past. The devil, you a bastard. Devil, you an idiot. What I'm seeing is much more glorious. What I'm seeing is much more powerful. I don't care what you are showing me. That foolish painting you are painting about my past, about those things I've been through. But my future, the picture is my future. And I decree you will not miss your glory. You will not miss your blessing. You will not miss your blessing. You will not miss your glory. In the name of Jesus, shall I hear your sound? We serve the true living God. Who the same yesterday, the same today, the same forevermore. If God could paint a picture for Moses and he chose his future, the picture is seeing that was his future and he forsook those paintings of Pharaoh. I declare it won't be different for you. You will see the invisible you will catch up with the invisible that was about to come you will catch up with it you will see it in your time in the name of Jesus your future the picture God is painting is much much greater than those one devils are painting for you the past even the achievement you have seen in the past is nothing compared to the glory about to come. The Bible 
Bible says it's sudden visible. Ha. How can a man live in Old Testament and see the future? It's sudden visible. Who is invisible? Jesus. He was even comparing. I said, do I go for this invisible or still to my glory? It was when, in fact, Bible says reproach of Christ. I was like, what do my reproach? How can a man forsake pleasure and choose reproach? Because what he's saying, what he saw was greater than him. He didn't mind to be a fugitive and to go back to land again at the backside of the desert because of the picture he was seeing. My friends, my question for you is, what picture are you seeing? What is your picture? What is being painted before your front? What are you looking at? To? Are you looking at a new picture? The glory of God? All those kind of nonsense devil is painted for you. What are you seeing? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. By the end of these four weeks, four weeks, by the grace of God, I want to believe that God would have painted a very Powerful picture for you about what is about to come. Am I communicating the new dimension we are entering into? That everything you have seen together all your life in the past is a small thing, it's very infinitesimal compared to what's about to come. I see mighty glory, I see major glory, I see powerful dimensions of working in your life on destiny. What you have seen in the past is a small thing. Thank you, precious Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Very quickly, I want to thank God for, to all of you. God has used so far to help us in you know, keeping the sanctuary for the month of May. We have entered the month of uh, June. And but eventually, you have not contributed towards the month of May. Please help, so help us so we can pay. Especially, especially now that we have some major uh, problem with, the, with our system. Amen. Praise God. You know, you know we hit devil so hard. Monday, Tuesday, when he said, hey, you want to finish me? He came. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> some of you are watching on YouTube, bro. it was so powerful. I came here to give lecture. God says, son of man, it's time to pray. <laughs> I went time to pray. Oh, Monday was glorious. Then last Tuesday was more glorious. And we, I was coming for another glory. And what is it? They will say, <laughs> not today. <laughs> uh, but guess what? What you experience on Monday and Tuesday is already, is already, is already, everything is already done. So each time the devil, before they realize what is going on, it's already over. <laughs> Am I communicative? You know, God hid it for him, hidden wisdom. He didn't know what was going on. If devil had known that by killing Jesus, God, Jesus will win about billions of people who will not be here to do it. But God hid it from him. He didn't understand. He was busy chasing shadows. <laughs> he thought Abel was his seed. <laughs> he thought, uh, <laughs> we're not looking for seed everywhere. <laughs> and when his seed actually came, he didn't even know. <laughs> Praise God. That shows that devil is limited in his intelligence. His intelligence but is limited. Praise God. You know, he was asking, he asking Adam, if, uh, what did God say? How can you deal with such a person? What did God say? Okay, if you know you're so powerful, why didn't you know what God said? <laughs> Praise God. So that's how foolish he is. So he just looks at network and look at things. I mean to act. Job with impulses. But by the time he come on, we're already done. <laughs> we already have seen manifestations, miracles everywhere. He came late. I'm telling you the truth. He came late. Very, very late. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we have to deal with this since Thursday up to now. You know, the lights, lights, that's why you sit down. The AC just working on this side. There's no AC here. But thank God it's spreading across. So because one of the AC is not still working up to now. Uh, it made jaw damage on one of these, the compressor. Then we talk about compressor on the AC. They are talking about that. So we're going to talk about that later on with the leaders. So that's, we don't left it alone. But one, one part is working. Praise God. So, and um, it's okay now, but we have crowd. And we're just seeing some. So, but it's well. Hallelujah. And then the, our two speakers, you can see packed over there. Blown. Just like that. That's each of them is 1,004. We bought it some years back. It's a, it's a dangerous devil came to, but God has dealt with it. That's all he's packing. We have to use, improvise, and use some for now. Because these ones are not meant for houses, they are meant for monitors. Some of you don't know about media. This one is money for monitors, they are not meant for houses. That's why the sun is not that glorious. The man can get it. So, so many things behind the game, there's no breakout. So many things happen. You know, everything just went haywire. Praise God. Hallelujah. But thank God, we're to the tax. So I've sent an appeal. Those of you online listen to me, I've sent an appeal. Um, God touches you, just do as much as you can to donate towards our replacing everything back as it's supposed to be. Amen. So God bless you for your wavering 
contribution towards the keeping the sanctuary, towards making sure that God's place is being used to serve him. Amen. God bless you really and reward you hundredfold in Jesus' name. So please don't delay as much as you can today, tomorrow start giving us as much as God has blessed you. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need a lot of money. Now that they are talking about compressor, that's another level like that. <laughs> no. Praise God. I spent over 2000 already for what you're seeing now, for to get this, to this stage. So we're talking about compressor, we are talking about another level of money. Hmm. Praise God. And then, do two speakers too. Anyway, it's God will help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're not complaining. You know, God is in charge already. He will take us through in Jesus' name. Amen. Very quickly, my time is fast, but already I need to just spend a few minutes and I'll close. I know we started very late to around to was it what we start? To wait, right? For uh, 15 minutes to wrap out. So very late. So please try and be coming early as we should. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Our theme for the whole month of June is unveiling the mysteries of the of some mysteries of new dimensions in Christ mysteries of new dimensions in Christ and our topic as manner is I'll uh, be looking into um, the former things let me let's go to our main text Isaiah chapter 43 14 to 21 Isaiah 43 14 to 21 give me Isaiah 43 thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord let's just the context um, thus say the Lord your redeemer the Redeemer, pay attention that the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake, I have sent to Babylon, I have brought down all your nobles and Chaldeans, Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. You know, we talk about Chaldeans, the Babylons, they are <laughs> comes to expatriate voyage, a matter of economic expats, void the ship. That you know about this was deadly in she would go shipping voyage, you know. And, and God said he's dealing with them. Talking about Babylon. You know, I am the Lord your God, your the Holy One, the creator of Israel, your king. See, God began to show forth his, his attributes. Talks about his attributes, his prowesses. Thus said the Lord, which make it away in the wilderness, what he has achieved. And a part in the mighty Next one fifteen. Part the mighty. Amen. Part in the mighty. Can you go forward? Fast, fast, fast. Can we have time? The waters which bring it forth the chariots and horses, an army and the power that they shall lie down, they shall not rise. <laughs> this is Mr. God is communicating here. We're trying to ref let them we're trying to let them know what he has done in the past. So remind them that where you are now, if my hand could do this, I would do it again. Am I coming again? He said, Do you know how I've dealt with the army of Egypt? <laughs> he said, chariots and horses, army and power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. What kind of picture is that? <laughs> you know, they are extinct. Now what's their no more? That's why history has it that the chariots and their wheels and the, some of their bones of the horses and the, and the soldiers are still there in the dead bed of the sea up to now. So as a finger, what God has done. So that those um, skeptics say, ah, okay, if it's true, show me. You go there, you see there. They're still there. Those chariots are still there. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, he has put them into extinction, but the finger of God is still there. In the bed, in the bed, in the sea, in the sea beds. And they are quenched as told. Remember ye not the former things. See, God began to communicate to them. Remember not the former things. This they have done, remember not. For neither consider these old things, old, old things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Now, springing forth, shall ye not know it? And I declare, God is doing a new thing in your life. In the name of Jesus. He's doing a new thing in your life. In the name of Jesus. So our main text is from 19. Say, forget the former things. I do a new thing. I can't you say it is springing forth? Shall ye not know it? But next verse, I. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beasts of the fish shall honor me. Oh, the dragons and all. Because I give waters in the wilderness. See God how God is boasting. Water in the wilderness. This is <laughs> it's not just a mere boasting. 
It's God that says that he does it. As he's saying, it's happening. Praise God. A rivers in the desert. To give, that's why when God talk, he talks in present tense. Because when he's saying, it's happening. If God says something now that will take place in one million years, it's already happening. That's how God works. So when you pray, oh God, give me, give me, he's already giving you, but your spirit's not able to catch it. Am I communicating? When God says something, as he's saying, it's done. But it might be in the spirit until you can really catch it or release it. Praise God. So that's when he talks. You see how he talks. You won't be wise God taking this way. You know, and you, you are there crying. Oh God, where are you? Where are you? Help me. He's already given it to you. Just wait to release to get it. And I'm say, and then wilderness and rivers and to give drink to my people, my choosing. The, these people I have formed for myself. Hallelujah. They shall show forth my praise. Oh, I love that part. They shall show forth my praise. So God didn't just make you ordinary, he make you for a purpose to show forth his praise. Next one. That's one. That's one. Okay, that's the last one for now. So, to show forth my praise. This is a beautiful piece. What God is saying. And, you know, what do we hope to achieve with this vision, this scripture, or the whole context? We hope to achieve the fact that God is still on our side. Despite what we are going through. Though this situation tells us how they were captured in, in Babylon and they stayed there for long. People are dying, they prayed for 70 years waiting for the salvation of Israelites from Babylon. So while they were there, God began to raise Isaiah, sorry, Messianic prophet, you know, Isaiah, began to tell them about the future. That even though you are now under captivity, don't worry. I'm about to save you. I'm about to bring Redeemer. Praise God. Uh, can't you remember? Do you have dementia? What happened in Exodus? <laughs> this is what to say. Do you, you have a dementia? Are you, have you forgotten? <laughs> what happened in Exodus? We have to refer them how he parted the Red Sea. I made a way in the wilderness. That's what brought all this scripture. So, as I is a Messiah prophet, but as I was speaking, as I was speaking as though it's happening now, that's what some people would say. Ah, as I, why are you speaking as if you might see it? No, you're talking about the future. When you see, I see a virgin become pregnant. People thought it's now. <laughs> that's why up to now, a lot of Jews were too confused. <laughs> is the Messiah coming? Has he come? So they're confused. Because Messiah, Messiah prophet Isaiah will speak as though it's happening now. That's how some prophets speak. But they don't understand, they don't have discernment to know that God, when God speaks, He speaks as if, you know, He speaks millions of years as if it's happening now. But it's already happening, but it might take time to unfold. Am I communicating? So Isaiah, the Mizek uh, prophet, was telling them about the futuristic miracle that will come and redeem them. Amen. That they should not give up now they're in Babylon. They should not give up at all. That the same God who saved them from the hand of Egypt will save them again. Hallelujah. So that his hand is not short, even though you are willing to go under captivity, his hand is not short, his hand is not short. That he that prepared a table before their enemies is able to save them. Am I communicating? If he is not able to save them, he won't prepare the table. He won't bring the enemy forth. He brought the enemy forth. That's what that's what ended that last that place we read. He brought the enemy forth so he can show forth his praise before the enemies. Am I communicating? So they may be watch them eating and drinking in the in their presence, and they can't do anything about it. They will see the food, they can't poison it. <laughs> Am I communicating? The food will be there, they can't because he, he brought them forth to show forth their, his praise to them. That's, what, that's the last word read. That I brought it forth to make you my praise. So how would he showcase his praise? If not before the enemies surrounding the table, while they are eating, they can't even reach out to the food. And they just be looking. Like look more. <laughs> like look <Ozette. laughs> Am I going to get it? I'm looking at like look Can you give me? That's salivating. Can you give me? <laughs> so, I know how you say good food. You are salivating. You want to eat, but you can't eat it. Because you don't have power to eat it. So they are seeing the, the man is devouring food in your presence. They are looking at the food. They can't even touch it. Praise God. Because God brought them there so you can show forth his praise. Because every child of God is meant to show forth God's praises and mind communicating. To declare his marvelous light. So the enemies are there to watch what God will do in them and to them. Against them. Am I communicating? Against enemies, God will showcase himself in them and to them. Against enemies. So God prepares a table before them. Am I communicating? I don't know what devil is around your table or what demon around there or that force around your table. And to let you know, the only, the highest they can go is to look. They can't do nothing. Am I communicating? They cannot stop your future. They can't stop where you are going. They can only look like morons. You know, demons are morons. Devils are morons. Witches are morons. They are bad and stupendous idiot people. They can only see. They cannot do anything. Their hands are too short to perform. Their legs are too short to move. They have coconut heads. It's called ordinary head. No, I don't think God
claws that are carved. They have carved heads, no brain inside. They have hands, but the hands cannot perform. Remember the days of Dagon. Before they could come, their hands were scattered. Their legs were scattered. Their carved heads were, they fell rank down and said, rank at the day. These are how devils are, demons are. They have carved heads, carved eyes, carved ears, carved hands, carved legs. But they cannot perform. A mind communicating. No matter what they do, your power is still beyond them. The highest devil can go is under your feet. The Bible says that the seat of the woman shall crush your head. That means the highest you can go to the church is to be under the feet of the church. Am I communicating? I don't care what devil is doing. How mercy has been around you. Remember, God is the one that prepared the table. <laughs> Is the one that will give you the food and, and make you get out of it. They can only look at like morons and desire to eat, but they will end there in the shock of their imagination. They are over. Their plans over you has ended. Their plans over you has ended. And my communicator, that very idiot, but 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 that idiot, stupid, stupidity, who is after your destiny, his terrain is over, his power is over. Believe you me, we serve the true living God. Believe you me, we serve the true living God. Who the same yesterday, the same today, the same forevermore. If God has done it for them, what about you? Am I communicating? If God could forsake his son and let him be killed on the cross of Calvary, how much more will he not help you in this time? When devil thought it's over, go out there that back and it's not over. On this over, have a God. Bible say, Mary, did my live it? Am I communicating? The guy said, I say, me, that he that is in this world, am I communicating? The devil's an idiot. He will only cry on that answer. Am I communicating? He thought everything was over here. No, it's not over. We are just starting. Just starting. We're just starting. We're just starting. <laughs> when God begins a thing, he just starts to have way. I've never seen a project that God began and stopped halfway. Why will he stop halfway? Is it because of resources? Is it because of lack of power or lack of intelligence or lack of architectural design? Why would God stop halfway? Tell me any project he began and could not finish it. That's why Holy Ghost Fellowship is a project of God. He began it, he will end it. mind communicating. It does not matter what is going on. You know, we have faced devils on different levels. Huh? For one to another, one to another. The last one is the last one forever. We are about to enter glory. Huh? Different levels of glory. Am my communicating? The devil cannot stop you. Witches cannot stop you. Powers cannot bring you down. Great I say, I say, no, the he does in this world. Huh? Am my communicating? The devil is a backard. Huh? Am my communicating? May God slap him and his wives huh? and his children. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Shout, I hear you, sir. <laughs> they can only gnash their teeth. Hale Brakatosha and say, What have we done? Have we known what have touched these people? They thought we were joking. We are just beginning the new dimension. Come and check out in the next three days. Everyone will catch fire. Let them go and prepare. We are back to enter a new dimension. Major, major ones that the whole world we know. You still hear about us. And every year that here shall be thank God. God, God Himself, the glory of His people. Shakatala Bragadosha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's something we are just about to start. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And because of that, God carefully began to let them know that you should forget the former things. So that's what my topic is called forget the former things. The former, what are the former things? And very briefly, my time is not uh, my side to finish this. This is just an introduction. What are the former things? <laughs> but Paul in his writings in Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. Give me that scripture first of all. Give me that scripture first of all. If I start talking about something. Philippians chapter 3, 12 to 14. Philippians. Philippians chapter 3, 12 to 14. Paul says something very quickly. Very, very quickly. He says something here. He said, Not as though I had already attained. 
photo, the new dimension we are seeing, we are just entering. We have not reached where we are going. We are going is major, major dimension. So therefore, we have not attained where we are going. It's just, we're just, this is just a gear one. Uh, he said, either we are already perfected, but I, I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Jesus Christ. Am I going to say, brother, I can't not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, which he fought unto those things which are before, I press. I press. I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press. I press. I press. I press. If you have no picture, how will you be pressing? Paul had a picture of the future. So he's pressing towards his future. You can see so a picture. He saw something. He saw something. No one can press except you see something. Am I communicating? So God is saying, behold, I'm doing a new thing. And what is that new thing? The picture before you. That's what I'm doing. So pursue it. For it to reach your future, pursue your picture. So what God is God showing you? When you sleep, what God showing you? When you are praying, what God showing you? When you study your Bible, what God showing you? These are your pictures. God has painted it for you. Then why are you glinching to the former things? Why are you holding to what has happened yesterday? What has happened last year? What has happened last week? He said, God is saying, look at the picture I'm painting. Not the one that devil is printing. Look at it. Devil has printed the past. Tell devil your reign is over. I'm looking at the picture of the future. Let the devil know your reign is over. Because I'm looking at the picture before me. Am I communicating? That is God what God is doing for you. And to let you know you will not end this way. Am I communicating? What God is saying concerning you must be achieved. You must be achieved. This year will not end without seeing glory of God, the majesty of God, the power of God, the anointings of God. In the name of Jesus, you will end this year in praise. You end it in praise. You end it in praise. You end this year in glory. God, God is unfolding greater things on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, shut up here, Isa. So number one, very quickly, number one, what is God asking them to forget? I'm going to say forget the former things. The former things are the things that God had done before they got to Babylon. God will tell them, look, have you forgotten what I've done in the past? What I've done in the past, how I confiscated them, how I dealt with Egypt, how I saw you through the Egypt, how you went, you were there for four and four thirty years, and I saw you through. You want that slavery and bondage? I know. You have to do something with straws, with your bare hands, and without no pay. I know. You have to be under a stringent government. Government that press you down, that press you down, oppress you, and put on a tannery. It was a travesty, major travesty. See, I know all these things. You had to eat cuckoo by onions and all those things. Even though it's on your natural, your, your Hebrew food. Yet all these things, and you went through all these things. God is saying, forget them. Forget them, forget them. You went through even though pain. You might go through pain in wilderness. How, you know, for no food, no water. No temporary, no, no temporary food, no temporary water. Things were not going supposed to be. You have no room upon your, on your, on your, on your, on your, on your, on your, you have no room to go under. The wilderness was full of, it was harsh. And everything is going haywire. God is saying, all this pain you have been through, say, forget them. All the harsh things you have been through, forget them. Is it sickness you have been through, forget them. Is it disease, forget them. Is it witchcraft, forget them. Is it attack, forget them. Whatever thing you have been through the past, God is saying, forget the former things. The human beings have the tendency of remembering the past and it stops them for future. They cling to the past. You know, I've people like that. They cling to it so much. So much clinging that they forget what God is doing in the future. They forget it. I don't have time. I would have said something. You see, God has a way. You see, God, again, God gave us minds, memories to remember the past. Amen. But, and God told them clearly, I said, Look, I have erased your past. Don't worry about it. But you know something? Human beings still remember it. When God has forgotten about it. <laughs> I'm not committing. Is that not an attack? Yeah, it's not saying that you will not be able to, you know, it's possible you can remember them, pain here and there. But one thing is sure that if you understand who you are, whose you are, the spirit behind those past things that have brought you pain, the life behind them, the spirit behind them, at this stage of your newness, is supposed to be over. Because spirit sponsored those things. Spirits sponsor it. Life sponsored them. Devil want to keep you in that perpetual continuum of the past. And make you run down it. It's a spirit. You dwell to the past to the and you can't see the future. It's a spirit. The spirit, the devil will just blow your future. You can't see what's happening. It happens everywhere. Even your family, husband and wife, they fight, they can't seem to. That's what causes divorce. Praise God. That's what causes divorce. With devil, there's a spirit. 
It makes them to remember the past. Eh, my husband did this. My wife did this. My children did this. Why are you remembering the past? It has, it's over. Forget it. Let it go. I'm not making sense. It's, so it, it, they are big to remember the, the past every time, every time, and keep yourself from the future. You are suffering what they call uh, borrow me English. Okay, future wash your <laughs> Future wash your <laughs> Future wash your because <laughs> it's a spirit keeping you in one place. So if you are, if you if you are in a calm down, you can never you hardly forget. You hardly forgive. You now I'm not saying it's possible to remember some things naturally, you know, praise God. But, but the ability to get over it is a spirit that will sponsor that one. It's a spirit that sponsors the one that keeps you there. It's a spirit. If you are the one that always allows the past to keep you at bay. It's a spirit that's keeping you there. Now, if you're able to cross the past, even though it happened, you might, your mind might go there here and there, but you're able to go through it and pass it and be able to look to the future. It's another spirit. Am I making sense? <laughs> so, if you are still wallowing in the past, every time, ah, yeah, 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 that means it's a spirit keeping you there. It's, you are in trouble, though. <laughs> you are in very big trouble. A spirit is keeping you there. Of course, it's not a good spirit, it's a bad spirit. That is preventing you from moving ahead. But if you're able to cross, to cross it and pass it and enter the future and be to see new things, it's another spirit. And that spirit must be of God. Must be of God. So the power to make you to see the future and forget about the past is, is the power of God, the anointing of God. So God was telling them, Look, I know you can physically remember these things. <laughs> you can say, All this I've done, the pain you've been through, everything you say, forget about the former things. In the next one again to bring with another point again is glory. I perform so much glory. You have seen me brought you, you have seen me you know, the 12, you know, 10 plagues. You can see the glory I performed. The plagues are destroyed. Everything I did in Egypt. I can see you can see the glory, right? You can see how you were going to the Red Sea to, to cross, and then the Pharaoh released about 600 soldiers to pursue you. And why they are close towards you, they, 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 they were they got drowned in the Red Sea. You can see all these things. And right up to now, my fingerprint is there that they were drowned in the Red Sea. Now you crossed the Red Sea and came over to the to, to, to wilderness. Right there, you, your shoes were not done, your clothes were not done, you didn't have to be sick, no pharmacy, no doctor to see. Everything was fine for 40 good years. You have seen all this. These are glories. <laughs> and I told them, remember, all this praise you have gone through and the glory you have seen me perform. He said, what is about to come next is nothing compared. <laughs> when I received that spirit, I was jumping up. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -uh. You know, some people have a tendency to do in the past their pain. They live in their pain so much so they can't see the future. Why some again live in their achievements? That is more dangerous. Paul said, No, whatever I achieve, no, there is gone. Whatever you have, whatever landmark you have reached, whatever thing you have done, the episode you have performed. Big houses, big cars, big this, big that, marriage, whatever, whatever, children, everything. He said, This is just an infinitesimal of about where I'm taking you to. He said, Forget the former things. Former things, including pain, including glories. He said, Forget them. Because glory can stop you too. He then said, You see. Uh, I was the one that did it. <laughs> I, I, I know I did this, I did that. I was going to fellowship, I was praying, I was reading the Bible, I was doing this, and I was able to do it. I backabashed. Praise God. It's not backabashing. It's the glory of God that takes you there. It's not about how many Bible you have read. It's not even the fasting. <laughs> to let you know. Praise God. <laughs> so these are glories you're looking at. Say, forget them, both pain and glories. Forget them. So look at the picture I'm painting. It's greater. What I'm about to do is much more powerful. That's why God began to tell them about Himself. He said, I'm the King. Now I told them something that touched me. Verse, give me verse 14. I'll read that place to round up. Verse 14. Oh my God. Give me verse 14 of that. I said, 43. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am Osha. I want to round up with that. Take me back to verse. Not back in the past, I'm mean, taking back. <laughs> take, me back. take me to Isaiah 43, verse 14. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know most of you have seen it. Just to tell me. Shala bragado saba. Look at that. Toss here the Lord your redeemer. That one word he used just struck me. Alamo shabaya. That's as you are in the, in the Babylon. 
and Babylonian spirit pain is all over. You are going to all manner of afflictions. He said, the Redeemer, say your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Ha! He said, I am there. Ha! So God began to invoke the power of Jesus. He said, Do you remember? I'm about to do something very powerful. Am I communicating? In other words, it's all about our time. Ha! That in our time, those who are born again in Christ Jesus, remember every pain you are gone to glory you have seen, the Redeemer is coming. What he will do is much more greater than what you have seen. <laughs> you know, as I told you, as I was very prophetic, he would say something as if it's happening now. But he was telling them, look, what you are going to in Babylon now is not compared to when the Redeemer will arrive. But currently, I'm your Redeemer still. <laughs> as you are there, I'm going to bring you out my power. The Holy One of Israel, I have sent to Babylon. Words, he's dealing with Babylon already. He said, I'm already dealing with them, even though they're holding captive. I'm dealing with them, no matter how powerful and noble they are. <laughs> Whose cry is in the ships. That means people will cry. Forever touching his people, they will cry in their ships. Am I communicating? So when devil come knocking and think he's dealing with you, God will make them cry. You see, when we talk about ship, ship voyage, Babylon is not for that. But Bible says, <laughs> whose cry is in the ships? <laughs> you know what it means? They will cry, cry. Even though with all their glories, forever touching a child of God, they will cry. Oh, devil will cry your cry. The 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 devil will cry your cry. I will not cry. I will never cry. I will never cry. I will never cry. I will never cry. Jump on your feet. Please, please. You will never cry. No devil can make you cry. No witch can make you cry. No boy can make you cry.
Friends, in the culture of the Jewish people, only king's men can redeem. King's men. Am I going to Yes, sir. Only king's men have the power to redeem. That's what happened to Boaz. Only king's men. Am I going to The same way, God, that's what God was saying. Look, I made you. You are my own. But devil stole you temporarily. I'm back to redeem you, to buy you back. Because originally you are from me. So whatever devil is doing now is just a borrow. <laughs> it's just devil messing around you. But I'm back in full, in full fledge, in power, in anointing. I'm buying you back. Amen. I'm buying you back. Amen. I won't let devil destroy you. Amen. I will not let devil destroy you. Amen. I'm the redeemer. Amen. I'm your redeemer. Amen. Devil cannot destroy you. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm buying you back. Yes, Jesus Thank came and you, died Jesus. and said you are purchased. Yes, yes. You are purchased. You are purchased yes, by his blood. Um, Therefore, God has bought you back. Amen. Jesus has bought you back Amen. for the hands of pain, yes, for the Amen. hands of affliction, Amen. for the powers of sickness, Amen. for the powers of poverty. Amen. You have been purchased. Yes, 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 you have been purchased. Hey, you have been the glory you are seeing now, nothing compared to what was before, what you see tomorrow, nothing compared to what was what was before. Ragada, 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 
La Bracatosa, the Bracat. And finally, the Bible says, Do you know what I did in the past? He said, He made the way in the desert. Yes, sir. And there was water in the He said, If I could do such things yes, sir. and confiscate Pharaoh's soldiers and drown them up, if I could do these three things and show forth my glory in the wilderness, how much more now? The time of redemption. How much more now? The time of redemption. The time of deliverance, which is now. I hear by professor. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. Your redeemer live it. Your redeemer live it. Your redeemer live it. Professor, professor, professor for yourself. My time has come. My time has come. My time for deliverance. My time for restoration. My time for healing. My time for manifestation. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. The devil cannot stop me anymore. Which is not stop me anymore. I am free. I am free. Whosoever the son of man has set free is free indeed. We are set free. From every principalities and power. Every pharaoh. And they are so to pursue your destiny. Holy Ghost! Fire! Every Pharaoh and your soldiers pursue your destiny. Holy Ghost! Fire! 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 Destroy them! 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 Destroy them!